good day. I'm Browning Pangaliban from SCS Lunch Section B. Um, on the 21st of May, the HAT seminar was held at Library Colleges, which is entitled A Glimpse on the Future of Hospitality and Tourism Industry After Pandemic. Mr. Israel Reyes and Ms. Angeline Pardo were the hosts. It has been started with an opening prayer followed by Philippine National Anthem and SE. They first introduced Ma'am Lolita de Ramos to give her opening remarks. Next, they called Dr. Lira Cresar M. Hernandez to deepen our understanding about the topic. Furthermore, they already introduced the most important person of this webinar, and she is Professor Josephine S. Hondrano. She discussed that during this pandemic, operating restaurants tend to follow health protocols, which is really necessary. If you are able to see it personally, the staff are wearing face masks and fishing. First, restaurant during pandemic. She tackled the possible future of restaurants in the Philippines. She's wondering how, how restaurants could survive in the problems brought by a deadly virus. The future looks bleed and industry may be rumbled, particularly the F and B. Although some continue to operate by the by a delivery and takeouts, majority of the mi micro, small and medium enterprises are finding it difficult to compete with household names and big restaurants. According to FDA, there is no evidence to food or food packaging being associated with transmission of COVID-19. There are four steps mentioned to food safety. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. The food service during the pandemic has changed. People are now ordering their food through online and ask for delivery. Make sure that the food is clean to avoid food poisoning. Second, is housekeeping. As you will see in hotel and bar, they are wearing face masks and face shield. Housekeeping department plays a big role in this time of pandemic. Cleaning the whole place properly is significant to avoid spreading of the virus. Methods include quarantine, travel trans restriction, and the closing of schools and workplaces, stadiums, theaters, or shopping centers. Individuals may apply social distancing methods by staying at home, limiting travel, avoiding crowd, crowd areas, using no contract greetings, and physically distancing themselves from others. As you can see the picture with this dining setup, limits into one social distancing is really implementing which affects the hospitality industry or restaurant business. This word resilience means the capacity to recover quickly from dif difficulties. Have you ever wondered why some people remain calm in the face of adversity while others crumble? People who are able to effectively na navigate the highs and lows of life have what psychologists call resilience or an ability to effectively bounce back from adversity. Whenever you come across difficult situation, you have two choices. You can either let your emotions get the best of you and become paralyzed by fear or you can uplift yourself from the negative and transform pain into possibility. Even you consider yourself to be a happy person, it is inevitable that you will encounter challenges at some point along your journey. 
These experiences may bend you, but they do not have to break you.